Well, good morning folks. Yep, start of another term and we're back for some more of our 15 minutes of music on all of our percussion bits and pieces with Mr. Wind and Durham Music. I hope you guys have had a really good Easter and are glad to be back at school. I'm sure you all are. But today's job, really, moving on from what we were doing last term with all the bits and pieces with the rhythm cards, the body percussion stuff, clapping the rhythms, jumping the rhythms. Yeah, I think we've got the hang of that. And today we'll have a little recap of those bits and pieces. But I'd started showing you what we can do when we start plonking them on some other instruments. Maybe our djembe drums. Whatever instruments we've got at hand. Percussion instruments though. But what is a percussion instrument? Well, a percussion instrument is basically anything that to get a sound out of it, you hit it or you shake it. Drum, cymbal, triangle, even a piano is in the percussion family. But that's a bit of a long story to explain that one. We won't worry about that today. So, I bet you, you're going to love this. Yep, it's back. There's our samba groove bits and pieces, and I'm just going to hold up some of our rhythm cards, and we'll just have a quick recap of them. I hope you guys are on your feet ready to go. After four, clap that, get it going. That's just those crotchets, wasn't it, those teeth? Ready in one, two, three, four. So it was T, 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 T. Yeah, just clap it, just clap it. T, 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 T. Dead easy, dead easy. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Hit the new one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it was coffee, 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 coffee. Those quavers. Coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah, keep them going, keep them going. And stop. Yep. They're easy, aren't they? Then we had the bits where we combine them. Tea, coffee, tea, coffee. Quick blast on that. Just clap it. One, two, three, four. With tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea. Keep going. Tea, coffee, tea, coffee. Gonna change. Two, three, four. Coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee. One, two. Change of coffee, tea, coffee, tea. And again, guys, just clap them, just clap them. We're not worrying too much about jumping about and bouncing around with them just yet. Because we're going to have a go. Showing you trying them with some of the drums. Coffee, tea, coffee, tea. And one, two, three, four. There's your coffee, 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 tea. Coffee, 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 tea. Coffee, 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 tea. Coffee, 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 tea. Yeah, perfect. Then what was going on with that one there? So there's your coffee, there's your teas, there's your crotchet and a crotchet, then your two quavers joined together. Those two quavers are joined together, make that coffee. And that one there with the four, one, two, three, four little semi-quavers, what was that one? Yeah, that was your Coca-Cola. So I get Coca-Cola, coffee, tea, tea. Ready, one, two, three. Coca-Cola coffee tea tea Coca-Cola coffee tea tea again just clap coffee tea tea Coca-Cola coffee tea tea Coca-Cola coffee tea tea Coca-Cola coffee tea tea Coca-Cola coffee tea tea yeah Coca-Cola coffee tea keep it going keep it going because it gets to the point you just remember what those rhythms are it's great to be able to read them but sometimes, if you know what you're playing, you don't really need to worry too much about that stuff. But it is important to know what's going on with that stuff in the first place. Different combinations of them. What was going on with that one there? What did I call that one? So it's two of those funny little semi-quaver things and one quaver. Yeah, we're using lemonade. Again, there's loads of different words you could use with it. The word doesn't really matter as long as it sounds like that. Two, three. 
three, four, lemonade, coffee, tea, tea, lemonade, coffee, tea, tea, lemonade, coffee, tea, tea, lemonade, coffee, tea, tea. Yeah, dead easy, dead easy. So all of there, we're flying through these. And then we had a one where if we turn that lemonade back to front, the longer bit at the start now, yeah, it became that black current. So we've gone from having lemonade, coffee, tea, tea, into tea, tea, coffee, black current, tea, tea, coffee, black current, tea, tea, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, black current, tea, tea, coffee, black. Try that. Keep going. And all of there. Great. Spot on, guys. Spot on, spot on, spot on. Right. I shouldn't really just plonk these cards down because I need them in a second. And I need them in a certain order. That was clever of us. So, we know what's going on with them. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Then we had that funny Z thing. Yeah, that was that rest. In this case, it's a crotch at rest. So, you would have... That and that's got T, 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 T. Hope you're still on your feet. Jump them. Two, three, four. T, 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 T. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Don't stop. Then if I pop that one up, that one's missed out. That's that rest. So we get T, 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 rest. T, 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 S, T, 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 T. Great, 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 great. Hold it there. Now, this depends on how you guys are set. Wherever you're watching this in school, maybe some of you guys are watching it at home, after school, or maybe you're not back at school yet. But the idea with the stuff now, to start trying to put our different rhythms on the different drums. Now I know I had a couple of little looks at this last term, but for the 15 minutes this term, I'd like to really, really look into getting all these rhythm cards and things working quite nicely on the djembe drum. And I just need to change the sounds I've got on here. And I'm slowing the speed of that thing down because that's quite quick. Right, so with your drum, doesn't matter what you've got. If you've got some drums in school or things you can use, that's brilliant. But sometimes just anything you can get a hold of. Yep, yeah, pan. It will work. I should actually get a pan ready next week and I'll show you how it works on a pan or anything like that. But using a table, I could even use just the stool I'm sitting on. Hit the stool. Coca-Cola coffee, Coca-Cola coffee. Coffee, Coca-Cola coffee, tea. So if you haven't got drums and bits and pieces, turn your chair around, kneel on the floor, kneel behind the chair and use the chair as your drum, like I was just doing there. Now I know it sounds crazy, but it does work. But to get things going, and this is, this is, it'll take a couple of weeks to get into it, with what we need to do with actually using the drums or your chairs is yep the rhythms we know the rhythms are done great the, the tricky bit's actually being done understanding all this stuff written down i've got my djembe rhythm ticking away there and the trick is to find where the beat is for count one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four. You can hear that beat on beat one, and beat three, beat one, and beat three. So what we're gonna do is just put one crotchet beat, one T, in the middle of the drum, or actually in the middle of the chair, if you're if you kneeling behind your chair, play behind your chair. One T on beat one, and three. Ready in one, two, three, four. Dead easy. Then to 
turn it into that, we're going to use the middle of the drum for your big, deep, low bass sound. And then bring your hands back to the edge for the next part. So if we've got four beats at a time, like we have with all these cards, beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. Doesn't matter what they are, teas, coffees, quarter cola, colas, lemonades, beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. We've got four beats at a time. The first one goes in the middle. Second one goes on the edge. Third one back to the middle. Fourth one on the edge. And I'm just going to pull that speed back just a touch. And this is what we're going to get. Now again, some of you guys out there who've done some of these bits and pieces over the years, maybe with me in school, you know how this works. So I'm expecting you guys, especially you lot of broom if you're having a go at this, it's easy, isn't it? Just the crotchet beats, just the T's. One in the middle, two in the edge, three in the middle, four on the edge. So just the T, 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 T. Up, middle, edge, middle, edge. After four, join in with me. So one, two, three, four. There's your T. This time on your quavers, the same thing. We've got one, two, three, four coffees, but we're going to get the first one in the middle, and the second one on the edge, the third one in the middle, the fourth one on the edge. Yep. Yeah. Tell you what, forget the machine. I'm going to count you in. I want us to do one coffee, one hand after the other, right, left, or left, right, whichever way around, whichever you prefer. One coffee in the middle of the drum. Ready? One, two, three in the middle. So one, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, four, and again. Brilliant. There's our machine keeping the beat. This time, I want you to get the coffee on the edge. On one, two, three, four. This time we're going to get two coffees. First one in the middle, second one on the edge to get three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. Perfect. This time just keep them going, keep them going. So one, two, three, here we go with. together we we'll get T T T T then copy 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 and the idea behind this is just to get those hands working quicker and quicker one hand after another so four T's four coffees that's four crotchets but eight quavers yep yeah, four T's four coffees four T's four coffees I might start speeding it up as we do it one two three with the T's so T Turn it. 
the idea now i know that's been a bit slow today guys but i wanted to recap the stuff we've done just to make sure we're still all on it and i know we will be but the idea it is a bit of a pain to start off with but getting these hands working faster and faster on your chair on your table on your drum whatever you're using but remembering to move those hands around to the different sections the middle to the edge the middle to the edge and then practicing your crotchets and quavers your teas and coffees just to get those hands going faster and faster then in no time we'll get into this stuff then just like with the other bits and pieces we'll put one rhythm then another then another then another and add them all to each other before you know it what would be, would be brilliant is if we could have a class where every person's playing their own rhythm where it all fits together in time it sounds a bit mad but when it's in time together with the beat it's great I hope you've enjoyed that today, guys. Getting back into things after Easter. Each week, we'll be doing some work on these hands, getting them faster. And again, the rhythms that we know, just adding them onto our drums and putting one rhythm, then another, then another, then another, and building them up more and more and more. Thank you so much for taking part once again, guys. I'm Mr. Wind with Durham Music and Give us a like if you like it. That will be fabulous. But don't forget to tune in for the rest of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for all the other wonderful 15 minutes of music.